are getting a sneak peek at the newest and largest public pool in the Northland. Your hard-earned tax dollars paid for part of this pool. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan is now live with what makes this pool so special. Charlie. Well, Cynthia, it's really the history of this pool that's pretty incredible. But I mean, looking out at it right now, any pool looks special. And this temperature, this day, sun shining, 50 meters long, this pool, eight lanes across. It is just kind of calling everyone's name. Have to wait until Wednesday before you can officially jump back in it. But here to talk to us about the pool is Mark McHenry from the Kansas City, Missouri Parks and Rec Department. So, Mark, maybe give me a little rundown quickly on the history of this pool. Well, sure will, Charlie. Uh, this facility we're at today uh, used to be operated by the YMCA. Uh, they built a Y here back in the mid-50s. And then a few years later, they added the outdoor pool. And they operated up until a couple years ago. And uh, time came when they felt like uh, it was for them to move on. The, the building itself wasn't in very good shape. Had a lot of mechanical problems and roof leaked and things like that. And uh, the pool wasn't operating. So uh, they moved their operation to North Kansas City. And uh, so it sat here for a while. And the community came forward and says, well, we need to have this pool back in operation. And we said, well, let's see what we can do. Yeah. So. Uh, We've seen here what we, we can are. do. Yeah, yeah, here we are. Right. You're opening it back up to the public on Wednesday, and it's what about a uh, two and a half, two almost three million dollars. How, how much does it pay? Did it cost to do this, and where's that money coming? From? Well, uh, the leadership of the San Kansas City, Missouri Council made a big difference on this. Uh, as you know, we have six council districts. Uh, most of the north of the river is in District 1 and District 2, but part of it is in District 4. So between those three districts, 1, 2, and 4, uh, the leadership of those three districts put together funding about a million dollars, what they call PIAC, P-I-C, sales tax funding. So that was kind of led under the efforts of Councilwoman Teresa Lohr and uh, Deb Herman over at Northland Neighborhoods. And so they came up with that first million. And then there's something called the North Oak TIF. And the TIF funding comes from uh, revenue of the businesses over along North Oak. Best example is the Lowe's yeah. that's over there on the corner of North Oak and Vivian. And so economic uh, incentives. And so that was TIF funding. So you put those two together, uh, you end up with a project about $2.8 million. Very nice. And the people will be able to you know, reap those benefits here coming up. The uh, pool officially opens on Wednesday. It's free on Wednesday. And then uh, you'll have to pay an admission fee from uh, the following days on. But mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody's really looking forward to getting in the pool. It's here now on uh, Vivian and North Troost in the Northland. I'm Charlie Keegan, 41 Action News.